For a majority of the 20th century, the Jackson Rooming House provided a comfortable place to stay for African Americans who otherwise would have been turned away from other lodging during the era of Jim Crow. Starting off as a single family home, Moses Jackson and his family expanded and built onto the house, creating a 24 room boarding house that served the community from 1915 until its closure in the 1980s. The Jackson Rooming House was truly a family legacy with numerous family members living in it and owning it through the years. Sarah Jackson Robinson recalled that in the early days during the 1920s, the rooming house lacked central heat, but guests were provided with homemade blankets during the sometimes cold winter evenings. She also remembered that Moses Jackson was very particular about limiting electrical lights to just a couple hours per evening and would wander through nightly to encourage the use of kerosene lamps. During its decades in operation, the Jackson Rooming House provided lodging for the likes of Ella Fitzgerald, Cab Calloway, James Brown, Ray Charles, and Count Basie. Although it's been shuttered for years and has fallen into severe disrepair, there is hope for the property. Recently, the Vinnick Family Foundation, owners of the Tampa Bay Lightning, donated $1 million to save it. With the involvement of the Tampa Bay History Center, there are plans to restore and open it as a museum to tell the stories of its decades serving the community.